Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for end of days trading, the uh, Monday 22nd of August 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app from the Google App Store and the um, uh, Google Play Store and the Apple's App Store. So www.tradesignaler.com. Okay, in terms of uh, market reaction and um, basically um, how we're attempting to decipher the market uh, price action at present, let's try and uh, give you uh, uh, an interpretation. Really, I think today's theme really was, number one, Fisher's hawkish comments over the weekend, okay? Uh, and that obviously raised the concerns with regards to rate hikes going forward, hence the reason why you're seeing oil, copper and gold certainly coming under pressure today, okay? So, uh, as we all know, the inverse relationship between the US dollar and commodities, okay? So you had Mr. Fisher's comments, the hawkish comments. Basically, he's number two in, in potential, um, in potential, shall we say, um, respectability, okay, um, and um, accountability as well to a large extent, okay. So again, certainly respected, okay. So again, indicating a stronger dollar, and we actually seen that overnight with the euro USD certainly coming off its highs, okay, and coming under pressure. Also, the Aussie and Kiwi certainly under pressure as well. Now, that hasn't been the case for US equities, though, and the reason why is because you had two two themes, okay? So, number one, uh, you had this hawkish comment from Mr. Fisher, thereby uh, rate hike concerns coming into a foray again, back into the spotlight, and obviously equity markets into risk-off mode, okay? With commodities being hit and the reflation, well, not reflation, but deflation trade coming into effect with equities moving lower i.e. I equities equal inflation now the other side of the spectrum you had the likes of uh, japanese abe mr abe okay mr abe discussing the concept of uh, additional qe okay talking up qe attempting to defend the $100 level on the USD JPY, okay? So if I just bring up the USD JPY for you folks. Again, this is quite an important chart, okay? So we can certainly see this here. So obviously we gapped higher on the back of those comments. The markets have closed that gap now, okay? So again, close that gap. So it's all about defending the USD JPY at 100. If we can defend USD JPY, there is a positive, although the relationship has broken down, as of late, there is a positive correlation between the S&P 500 uh, or the rally in the S&P 500 to a large extent, although, like I said, it has broken down recently. Uh, and that's mainly due to the light volume environment not allowing the markets to sell off. OK, now that's going to change very quickly and very rapidly with the um, with the actual uh, traders coming back online now, folks. OK, so uh, given the uh, summer break is almost over now, given the fact that we are towards the end of August now in September, uh, volumes pick up. And uh, the pros certainly come back on board and take those positions. Again, one of the biggest positions probably will be to short the equity market. Okay, so don't be surprised with the equity market selling off. Now, again, uh, the USD JPY, if it breaks below 100, again, it signifies a key um, risk aversion or risk off to a large extent, okay, uh, trade. And therefore, the S&P 500 will be hurt. Now, if I just bring up the S&P 500, because this is very crucial, folks. So given the fact that I trade based on intermarket analysis, the US markets are absolutely detrimental in terms of the next potential move on European markets. Anybody thinks otherwise really is missing an edge. It's a shame that you don't actually observe the US markets because, again, it will give you that edge in your market. I mean, today has been a spectacular day. I mean, I was up 101 points at one time before losing 30 points on my euro short. And currently now I'm plus 20, plus 30 almost on my two shorts on the Kiwi and the uh, and the Nasdaq at the moment. So almost 100 plus points today, okay? So impressive, just for a day's work. And again, that's all based on intermarket analysis, okay? So again, looking at the S&P daily chart, certainly remains weak, no higher highs, okay? Certainly languishing there, okay? 60 minute chart, you can see that uh, we have made a lower high at the Fib 75% has held and therefore looking for a lower low, okay? So again, looking for weakness in uh, in the uh, your US markets, especially given the fact that the Asian market is certainly weak. Again, looking to test the low, uh, the pivot low on the S&P, 2176, 2175. That certainly seems to be the next potential target on the downside, okay? Holding the resistance at 2184 and oscillating between that. So again, US markets failing to make new highs. It's going to be very unlikely that European markets will do, especially with the Euro USD above the 1.13 level, thereby indicating risk aversion, okay? So again, important. 
very, very important. Same thing with the NASDAQ. You can see that you have a HNS formation, a 10 minute chart. If you go to a 60 minute chart, you can see that you have a bigger, a larger HNS formation. So again, looking for 4775 on the downside, okay? And looking for weakness on the NASDAQ. So again, indicating risk off, okay? Indicating risk off. So if we project that now onto European markets, in terms of fundamentals, the only real fundamental in Europe has been the uh, the talk of, or not talk, but certainly evident of the Euro USD moving higher and thereby hurting the uh, potential export ability of the German uh, export machine. Okay, so daily chart, you can see a doji candle, okay, coming into previous resistance equals support. There is an unfilled gap below, so just bear, be, be aware of that. You have a gap at 10, 360. So again, be cognizant of that, be aware of that. It's very important as a trader. Okay, 60 minute chart, again, you're making, uh, you have made a lower low today, so again, certainly indicate caution, although you didn't make a lower high, so again, certainly some strength kicking in there, okay, if the euro can stay below 1.13, which it hasn't, unfortunately, and that's my expectation, I did expect it to remain one below 1.13, and that's why I shorted at 1.1295, stopped out at 1.1326, okay, right, okay, so German DAX looking for potential support to hold now around the 10440 zone, if that fails, then... Um, we all know that we're looking to close that gap below, which is seen at 10,370. So watch out for the gap at 10,370, folks, okay? You have health, previous resistance equals support, so certainly needs to be respected there. I'm just going to go with the FTSE now, just quickly, because I have to dash now. Just the daily chart on FTSE 100. It looks like if you want to retest the previous breakout, which is at 10,680. Obviously, stronger dollar hurting the FTSE. Uh, FTSE 100 on a 60-minute chart, you clearly have this um, bear flag formation, okay? So be aware of this bear flag formation as well, potentially to new lows. Uh, again, looking like it wants to test that uh, 6780 zone and the 200 MA. So certainly a bear flag, okay, a bear flag. Although having said that, it is holding horizontal support, okay, certainly holding horizontal support here at uh, 6810. If that cracks, then we all know 6780 is next, okay, folks. 10 minute chart, again, you're building a base at the 6810 level, okay, so respect that, okay, we'll respect that in terms of the FTSE. And, and keep an eye on that okay i think that's a, a, a summation ready i'm going to conclude there please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of a 25 percent bonus in terms of tomorrow's price action uh just quickly give you an insight uh, before i finish this video uh, you have the pmi data out overnight from japan uh, mr corolla speech again very important so focus on the yen focus on the euro okay if the yen goes below 100 risk off if the euro usd remains above 1.13 a risk aversion for european equities okay we have pmi data out tomorrow so again that's going to be important in terms of europe cbi data out the uk red book out the us new home sales so consumer confidence so tomorrow is going to be a very active day okay so uh, prepare for tomorrow okay plan your trade trade your plan okay and wish you all the best as always, you're more than welcome to join me on the live analysis service where I share my trades and analysis in real time, my point counts, etc. Entry, exit, charts, call it what you like, okay, in terms of the analysis and commentary. It's only £50 a month, folks, which is 12 50 a week, and, and I strongly do believe that it helps and improves your trading ability, and your trading results, and certainly does sharpen your trading skills and tools. You're more than welcome to join me again if you want to take advantage of that. Then please do visit my site. Okay, my website is here, www.inter-market-market-analysis.com. Click on the free trial button. Okay, and again follow the instructions there. All you need to do is email me, email me at daytrader at inter-market-analysis.com. Uh, you can email me on there. You can certainly, uh, you can certainly find me on Twitter as well. Message me on Twitter. I can certainly add you. All I need is your mobile number, and I'll add you to the WhatsApp group. And then the rest is self-explanatory, okay? So again, if you're struggling in trading, more than welcome to join me, okay? And again, these YouTube videos, I hope they help and give you an insight. On that note, like I said, I must dash. Goodbye now.